The next part of the puzzle is consistency, where the theory of marginal gains is all about little by little, consistency is all about day by day. When combining both of these principles together, you get an entirely different animal. The problem that most students have with practicing is that it's not consistent. Because of this, they rarely achieve any real long-term momentum. So rather than trying to practice for long periods of time, experiment by breaking it down into two short 30-minute practice intervals every day. But the key here is to make sure that it happens every day. Well, I can just hear all those people out there saying, I can't practice for an hour a day. But think about it. Everybody has the same 168 hours in their week. By practicing for just one hour a day, that only equals seven hours, leaving you with 161 hours left to do everything else in your week. Contrary to popular belief, practicing seven hours isn't hard because of the time it takes out of your week. It's hard because it feels as though it's taking too long to achieve your goals. The reason this happens is because before you heard about the theory of marginal gains, you thought that you were only making progress if you were improving by leaps and bounds. Now that you're aware that improving by leaps and bounds doesn't really exist, this will no longer become a stumbling block and you can look forward to improving gradually over time. Now it's really important to review any lesson material that you're working on every day and then work slowly on practicing the concepts while thinking about how you would incorporate them into some type of musical scenario. Many will watch a video lesson once and then just start practicing without reviewing the content they've learned every day. This is a huge problem because people often forget the little details and then the process of practicing just reinforces bad habits. The difficulty of thinking about how you would incorporate some of the ideas you're working on into a musical scenario comes from not being able to see beyond an academic experience. Now it has to be said that learning is academic. We can't get away from this reality. But little by little and day by day, using the power of your own creativity will start to lead you into making the connection between the exercise you're practicing and the music you want to play. Okay, so this is the second principle to becoming a better bass player. See you in the next video.